It's a breviary from the 14th century. It's it, it's an English manuscript. It's um it's on extremely thin ve ve vellum. It's a very sort of fine quality work. It's full of gold leaf on the illustrations and the decorations around the border. Well, look, I imagine they had a magnifying a magnifying glass because because the, the, there are details that are so refined that you can't see them with the naked eye. Like, I, I need my magnifying glass, to, in fact, to see all the tiny details. These are the relics of where we come from, and they still exist, and they are almost indestructible. And these, we can look at books now that are 500 years old and will still exist in 500 years' time. And it's something that's part of where we come from, and where we are going to. And I think that's what people really respond to. In a world where we're awash with knowledge and information, they look back at these books and they say, wow, here was a time when people didn't read, when they couldn't read, where books were like great jewels and objects of great respect. I think it's extremely important that people living in one era, us today, keep our contacts with earlier ages. We are people of the present, and we must be, but it is um, not good when the links are cut from the past because I think the world shrinks.